Hey guys, it's Mia from Aikido Security, and today we're going to be talking about Aikido's noise reduction features, specifically how LLM-based auto triage plays a role in greatly reducing the number of false positives that you are greeted with on a daily or weekly basis. Without further ado, I'm logging in with my GitHub, and for today's demo, we're going to be filtering on all the SAST issues that Aikido has detected. Now, Aikido always reduced noise throughout the different CVEs that it detected, but in the last months, we've gone to extra lengths to improve upon this noise reduction and offer you even more clarity in the way that we rank things according to criticality. In other words, we've implemented LLM-based auto triage to provide even more accuracy when it comes to how we rank things inside the platform. Clicking into our first CVE over here, if I scroll down a little bit, you're going to notice that AI has upgraded certain sub-issues as it has detected that a finding is easily exploitable. Now, if I click into this, I'm going to get a description, and this details why our LLM-based auto triage has chosen to rank a sub-issue more critically than it otherwise would have been ranked. All you need to do is read the auto triage reasoning to further understand why the LLM based auto triage ranked the severity the way it did. Now you might be thinking that's all good and well, it can rank things more critically if I want them ranked more critically and maybe it detects more issues than I otherwise would have found in the first place, but what about noise reduction? And in this next CVE, I will demonstrate how we are also able to now ignore certain issues with the LLM based auto triage. As you can see here, AI has assessed the finding as a false positive. And if I click into the analysis here, you can see the auto triage reasoning determined that the SQL injection risk is mitigated by a whitelist check, making the vulnerability safe and non-exploitable. This is something that you might have gone to great lengths to fix before, but now, thanks to AI, you can see that it is actually benign and there's nothing to worry about. As always, if you click view code analysis, you'll be able to see a more detailed view of the specific code snippet that we are flagging, but you'll also be able to see how you are using it. So now we've added this little reachability tree, if you will, for your SAST issues. And of course, we add the Aikido recommendation with the LLM based auto triage in the top right section over here. So you can see the full scope of what we are flagging and why we are telling you in this case that it is a very high priority to fix. Now, this video wouldn't be complete if we didn't briefly touch on auto fix, a feature that we have always had for dependencies, but have recently built out for SAST infrastructure as code and containers. Hopping over to our auto fix section, if I would like to generate an automatic fix for the vulnerabilities that Aikido has detected, all I need to do is click on preview auto fix, and we're going to create a sandbox with the code snippet that contains the vulnerability and suggest some new lines of code to substitute the vulnerability. As you can see here, we are suggesting a change for the risky red line with a new and improved green line of code that we can implement. And it's possible to apply it directly in your IDE, in this case, inside my Visual Studio code, or for you to create a pull request if you so wish to do directly into your Git system. As always, if you liked what you saw and you'd like to Spin up a free trial for yourself to test it out, head over to app.aikido.dev and leave us your feedback. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.